dig up my dead wife? Today's Friday, October 25th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $23. One Bitcoin is $188. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin. From friends of WeUseCoins.com. Bitcoin is a new currency that you can use to send and receive money around the world without using a bank. Learn more at WeUseCoins.com. You'd think the government would leave you alone after you're dead, but in Alabama, an elderly man is resisting busybody bureaucrats because they won't let his deceased wife rest in peace. The reason? James Davis promised his wife he would bury her in the front yard. And when she died of old age four years ago, that's just what he did. He installed a vault, the funeral home put his wife in the coffin, and on a Saturday morning, Mrs. Davis was laid to rest before a gathering of family members. It was a lovely ceremony, the plot is maintained with colorful decorations and flowers, and the neighbors have no complaints, saying, quote, It's his right. But the bureaucrats at City Hall can't leave well enough alone. They want James to dig up his wife and move her to a, quote, properly licensed and approved cemetery. Less than a month after burying his wife, City Hall bureaucrats sent James a letter informing him that he was being sued by the government. Now, years later, the grieving widower has spent thousands of dollars protecting his wife's burial plot. He lost in circuit court. Then again, this past weekend at the state Supreme Court, defeated, he warned the bureaucrats that if a government agent so much as set foot on his property with the intention of disturbing the gravesite, quote, there will be an incident. So instead of allowing the government to take his wife's body out of the ground, James offered a compromise. Allow him to cremate her body and bury the urn. The bureaucrats agreed. So now if Mr. Davis fully complies with the government's order, the yard will end up looking exactly as it does now, only with an urn rather than a coffin underneath, leading reasonable people to ask, what's the point? Tell us your thoughts on the Peace News Now Facebook page. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. Actor-comedian Russell Brand is shocking and delighting millions with his guest-edited edition of The New Statesman. On the BBC this week, Brand shared his views, which called for a recognition that the old world is dying and that a new one must be envisioned. Brand hints that in this new paradigm, authority is not bestowed upon aristocrats, but instead derives naturally from the self-authority of all individuals. When asked what authority he has as a political commentator who is admittedly disinterested in voting, Brand said, quote, Why is that not my right? Because I'm an actor? I've taken the right. I don't need the right from you. I don't need the right from anybody. I'm taking it. Some may rightly slam Brand for saying things like, Profit is evil when he's clearly profited in order to amass a net worth of approximately $15 million. But while Brand's lack of philosophical grounding is somewhat discouraging, his attitude towards the old world aristocracy is positively refreshing. Watch the interview and tweet us your thoughts at Peace News Now. Speaking of the old world, remember John Pike, the cop who sprayed a group of peaceful UC Davis students with pepper spray? He was fired for his unconscionable actions, but not before receiving almost a year's worth of pay while on administrative leave. But a year's worth of pay for not working wasn't enough for John. Adding insult to injury, he came after the university for money next, complaining that he experienced depression and anxiety after the video of him spraying protesters went viral. A judge agreed, and John Pike was rewarded $38,000. What do you think about this? In other news, a Florida-based company called Soft Touch POS builds point-of-sale systems for restaurants. This week, they've announced that they're integrating Bitcoin into their flagship point-of-sale payment system. Soft Touch POS's president, Michael Pacher, said, quote, We believe Bitcoin popularity is inevitable. The company uses BitPay as its payment processing gateway. Pacher says the system is suitable for restaurants of any size and can even integrate with a website, allowing customers to place orders online. What do you think? Share your thoughts on our Facebook page. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com. Share this episode, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.
Thank you.